my video for December the 6th, 2019 is number 3,296. The title is, Yes, I am Contemplating Quitting My Daily Videos. On January 10th, 2020, I will have completed nine years of making daily videos, only missing about a week when I was in intensive care related to my second open heart surgery. As soon as they put me in a normal room, I resumed my practice. With the threats from YouTube, I am not sure what their future is in regard to allowing alternative voices. I'm sure there are people who would like to put an end to any awakening of humanity. That has the potential of actually freeing us from the diabolical machinations of the beings behind the curtain, often called fallen angels or demons. Do these exist? or is humanity just defective? I don't buy that myself. I think we were made a little lower than angels in some respects, yet we may be able to rise to greater possibilities. I say maybe because I'm just not sure anymore that my lifelong vision of heaven on earth will or even can become reality. In any case, nine is a number signifying completion to me. I'd like to get on with, my next, with the next phase of my life, which hopefully will involve the capability of bringing about long envisioned and very uplifting changes. Heaven on earth. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see humanity uplifted. And I'd like to see even the fallen angels that may be referred to now as demons, I'd like to see them repent. I'd like to see evidence of a loving God that actually cares. And I don't mean by dying in one generation. I mean now. Now is the important thing. What's happening right now in 20? 19 at the end of the year on this planet that signifies significant change and actual upliftment for all humanity. In other words, a new golden age. We need to be set free from the corruption of the and the inversion of everything where live is turned around and made evil where lived becomes devil we need a correction so that we become human again instead of corporate structures that are considered dead by the establishments we're certainly brain dead in many cases our hearts don't seem to have the capacity to love those that think differently than we do, that have had different life experiences than we have. We're not, most of us, some of us are, but most people are not able to sit down and actually have a discussion with others that come from totally different backgrounds and perspectives. And you might say to me, but Ron, how would you deal and have a conversation with people that want to be the controllers, that feel like they've been given some kind of a, a, a responsibility that, that puts them with an agenda to be in charge? Well, what I've witnessed, personal experience, is that most leaders seem to be liars. Most le leaders seem to be, as exemplified by Hillary, we came, they died, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a lot of difference to those that died, don't you think, Hillary? And she wants to, some people are saying she wants to run again for president, and that's why they want the impeachment thing, that's why that's all, what that's all about. The Dems want to, continue the fraud uh, commit that Trump committed some kind of treason. I don't buy that. 
if anybody's committing treason, it's been committed by the Clintons, the Bushes, the, the Obama, and even ones that went that went before that current scene in politics on this nation called America, which is again a corporation. It's not a nation anymore. And we need to have repentance. We need to have we need to have the ability to be told the truth and respond to truth, but we need to know that it's beyond religion. It's beyond politics. And yet religion and politics are the areas where everything has been corrupted, where we've been misled, where we've been convinced that a certain doctrine or dogma is the only way that we have to be that doesn't allow free will. And I'm not talking about free will to hurt others. I'm talking about free will to discover, free will to explore, free will to test the waters and see and see what's actually possible for us. I believe we have far greater potential and a lot higher possibilities than what we are currently experiencing and I'm not talking about the scientific advancements because I realize that even that, as, as great as it may seem like we've become so smart, I recognize evidence from the past that they were even smarter than, than we are now. Was there a former golden age that fell? Well, it would seem so. Do I know that? No, I'm not sure of anything. That's why I say I've moved from being a believer to being an agnostic. I simply don't know. I want to see evidence. And I don't want to hear evidence of something that happened 2,000 years ago or whatever. I don't even care about what happened 200 years ago or for that matter, last year. What I want is to see evidence of positive changes on earth where those that have done wrong are given the opportunity to repent and make amends and turn around. I don't want to see anybody lost if, that's for, if that were possible. I take no... I have no thrill or there would be no exulting in the death of the wicked. That would be crazy to me. I would like to see those that are ignorant enlightened. I would like to see those that are so incapable of loving actually brought to a place where they could love and be loved and discover the power of love in the now. You know, this is what my daily videos have been about. But I'm, yes, concerned because I've continued to stay on YouTube and Facebook and there are indications that there's a threat of that. And if the RV were to become a reality, I would be doing other things. I would be in the next phase of my life in, enriching people and empowering people and helping people to see that love is greater than fear. That we don't need to control others. We need to free everyone to become the best we can be. Wouldn't that make a positive change? I hope that I get the opportunity as the ninth year of my making videos comes to an end. I hope I and others get the opportunity to bring about and to participate in real change, not to believe in, but to actually experience personally for ourselves and bring the changes to this world that to me are long overdue. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.